The head of NATO has urged Russia to drop its support for insurgents in eastern Ukraine. We call on Russia to respect the Minsk agreements, uh, to use all its influence on the separatists to make them respect the ceasefire and uh, uh, to redraw the support for the separatists. Jens Stoltenberg stressed that the alliance is not seeking to intimidate Russia and would rather develop a partnership. NATO does not seek confrontation with Russia. NATO aspires for a more constructive and cooperative relationship with uh, Russia. But to be able to establish that, uh, Russia must want it too. And then Russia must, re must respect uh, the core values uh, and the rule-based system that we have strived for so many years to establish in Europe. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said that she agreed with Stoltenberg that dialogue should continue with Russia. She added that a proposed meeting in Kazakhstan with Ukrainian and Russian leaders could only take place if the sides made steps toward a peace agreement. Such a meeting in Astana can still take place, but there must be enough hope for results in order to call for such a meeting. We are not there yet, but all efforts are being made for it to happen. How long that will take, I don't know. I can't tell you. It depends on all the parties involved. The meeting in Kazakhstan has been postponed due to renewed fighting in Ukraine. Foreign ministers from Russia and Ukraine were reported to have made no progress during a meeting on Monday.